In this video, we're going to look at how we sort and filter data in Excel. So I've got some data here that I may want to sort so it's easier. I might want to sort by forename, surname, or how much they earn, or whatever it is. And it's really, really simple to do. So what we do is we can highlight the data we want to uh, sort and filter, go to Home, Sort and Filter, and then we can click Filter, and that adds these boxes on here. Now, sorting and filtering is the same thing, so say, I want to do smallest to largest, or largest to smallest, click largest to smallest, and it changes all the data in the set, largest to smallest. I do the same thing for smallest to largest. Now, I may want to only see certain criteria. So, I might want to go largest to smallest again, but I might want to do some form of filter. So, the easiest one I'll do on this one is say if I wanted to get rid of a certain person, maybe I don't want to see this Brian. So what I could do is I could get rid of Brian by unchecking him, pressing OK, and he disappears. And you see he's hidden there. And then if I want to put him back on, I just click Brian, and he's back. Now another thing I might want to do is I might want to set in just a, a very specific filter on maybe these numbers here. So I could do a number filter, and I could say um, I want it to be the top 10. So the top 10 items there, so that's the top 10 salaries. I can also do number filters for a certain range, so between um, 43,000, but more than 30,000, so okay. And again, those are my top salaries. So that's sorting and filtering. Now the kind of things you might get asked in an exam situation might be to sort the data in a certain way, so I want it to be um, like this for example, and then print it. So then again, I print, I might want to fit the sheet on one page, I'm going to do a selection, so I maybe highlight these, I may need to um, do something specific or whatever, but like that, and maybe say it's a landscape or whatever it is. Yeah, so that might be a task sheet where you've got to print. Another way of doing a sort and filter is this way, so exactly the same thing, but instead of clicking filter, we can go to custom sort. Then what we can start doing is we can say, right, I want to sort firstly on salary and do it largest to smallest, but I also want to do it by surname A to Z. So then you see there's a sort of the um, salaries, but then it'll put these, for example, in alphabetical order, so G comes before P and so on. So if you've got the same, it, uh, same value, it will do it on alphabetical order after that as well. So that's a little bit more um, of a specific sort you may have to do. Now look at some more data here. Again, I might need to do a sort and filter. And I might want to sort my data on the supplier, then pack size, like that. And you can see that all the suppliers, so A, B's and C's are all in order now, and it's going to do it on the size of the packs within that. Again, I might want to filter things out, so I may want to get rid of all the ones that are N's and P's, and just one of these. So you see, get rid of that, that, and that. Now I have got blanks, so I can uncheck blanks as well, so that's just all the D's. So that's another way of doing a sort and a filter. Now hopefully you found that really useful. And please watch the rest of the videos as it should give you all the skills you need in general to do a basic spreadsheet and to succeed in the IGCSE ICT exam.